Hey guys, this is Karan. I live in Saudi Arabia, studying ninth grade in Yambo International School. Today we'll be solving some extra examples on work. After what we learned from the topic of work, let's go ahead and solve some extra examples. The first question says, it should be up on the screen, and it says that a man lifts a brick of mass 5 kg from the floor to the shelf 2 meter high. How much work is done? Well, the opposing force in this case is the weight of the brick. But we should always know that 1 kg which is on earth is equal to 10 newtons. So 1 kg is equal to 10 newtons. That's basically the conversion factor what we use. So we know that 1 kg is equal to 10 newtons. And this should be on earth. And here the problem says the weight, the mass of the brick which is 5 kg. Let's go ahead and convert 5 kg into newtons. We start off with 5 kg. We know that 1 kg is equal to 10 newtons. What happens is kg, kg cancels out and you're left with 50 newtons. So you already found the force because force is in newtons. So you found the force. Now you were given that it, he moves the brick to 2 meter high shelf. So this is basically how this is 2 meters high. So what he did is he put the brick on the top over here. He put the brick on the top which is 2 meter high. So what you do is you recall the formula for work. I hope you already know the work formula which says that the work done is equal to force times distance. Now we need to find the work that this guy over here did. Now what he we found is the force. So let's replace F with 50 newtons. Now the distance we were given this problem which says it's 2 meters. We now know that the force is 100 but remember the units of work it's always joules so what we get is in joules so 100 joules is the work done with this guy let's go ahead and solve some ex more examples on topic work The second example says that the crane lifts the load weighing 3,000 newtons through a height of 5 meters in 10 seconds. What is the work done on the crane? Well, we know that work done is equal to force times distance distance that it moved okay this is important now it says that the force that is acting through the uh, crane is basically 3000 newtons 3000 newtons is what is acting by the crane so this is the force you know it's the force and it says that it moved height of the distance of 5 meters and the time given is 10 seconds but if you look at the formula we really don't need the time so the time is the extra information given to us so we don't really need the time to calculate the work done by the crane so let's go ahead and find the work done work done is equal to force which is 3000 Newton times distance move, which is 5 meter. Okay, now you basically multiply this and you end, end up with the answer of 15,000 joules. So, 15,000 joules is the work done by the crane.
Let's go ahead and solve examples. The third question says that a man lifts a parcel weighing 5 newtons from the ground onto a shelf which is 2 meter high. How much work does he do? Well, this example is similar to the example which was the first one. Okay? In, in this example, it says the man lifts the parcel. Parcel. Parcel weighing 5 newtons. from the ground to the shelf of 2 meter high. So this guy moved the parcel 2 meter high. Now what you need to know is the work done by him. Work done, as you know, is equal to the force being applied times the distance that object moved. Now, we are given every information 5 newtons is the force being applied to the parcel distance is moved is 2 meter we can easily calculate this multiplication we end up to be 10 joules so the work done is equal to 10 joules which is basically 10 joules is being applied to the parcel by this man over here. Let's go ahead and consider the fourth example. The fourth example says that an elephant picks up a person who has a mass of 70 kg. 3 meter is the distance that elephant carried that person. Now, what is the word? Well, we know that the word done is equal to the force times distance. But if you look closely at the problem it didn't give us the force it gives us the weight the mass of the person well remember from the first uh, a moment ago I just gave you a conversion factor which says that 1 kg is equal to 10 newtons so let's use this conversion factor to find out the force of that person on the earth okay now we're given is 70 kg we need to find the force well we know that 1 kg is equal to 10 newtons. So kg, kg cancels off. What well, you're left with 700 newtons. We found the force to be 700 newtons. The distance, it said, it moved as 3 meter. So let's go ahead. Work done is equal to 700 newtons times 3 meters. So the work done by the elephant is basically. So, the work done by the elephant is 21,000 joules. The, so, the work done by the elephant is 2,100 joules. Let's go ahead and solve the fifth example. Now you might be seeing me writing the formula again and again because it's, it's a good habit to write formula again and again when you are trying to solve every different example because what you're doing is when you write it again and again you're basically uh, remembering the formula in your head over and over again which basically helps you further in your life.
to calculate various amount of objectives that you face. Now the fifth example states that if a man pushes a van against the friction force of 300 newtons for the distance of 10 meters, how much work does he do? Well, we know that work done is equal to force times distance. So let's go ahead and write this down. Work done is equal to force that is being applied times the distance that the van moved. The force being applied is 300 newtons. And when you move a car, which is on the road, friction forces are acting on it, right? But he moves against the friction force, and the net, net force is 300 newtons. So the net force, which is the final force, is 300 newtons. That is being applied by that man. The distance that he moved the van is 10 meters. Now the work done is equal to 3000, that is joules. And it's really important to write the units out because if you don't write the units, suppose that you don't write the joules. It could be anything. Well, it could be newtons. It could be meters. It could be neither newtons per meter. It could be uh, kg, 3000 kg. It could be uh, grams. It could be anything. So, units have to be consistent. In this case, the units of work is joules. So, you have to have to write 3000, that is joules. Now, 3000 is a big amount of number. You cannot write it again and again. The simple way to write 3000 again and again is basically write work done is equal to 3 kg, kj. Which basically means that work done is equal to 3 kilojoules, which is exactly the same as 3000 joules. So let's go ahead and solve one more example on work. The question says that of John lift the weight of 300 newtons through a vertical height of 2 meter in 3 seconds. What is the work done by John? Go. Well, he lifts an object vertically in 6 seconds of height of 2 meters. What he's doing is he, just imagine he's somewhere over here and he's by his hand or by the rope, he's picking up a box which is by the force of 3,300 newtons and he picks, he brings up the box to 2 meter height. Okay? And we, what we need to do is calculate the work. Now it also says that this procedure takes about 6 seconds. So, work done is equal to force that is being applied times the distance that the object moved. Work done is equal to the force, that is 300 newtons, times the distance it moved, which tells us is 2 meter. Now, the work done is equal to 600, that is joules. To calculate the work, we don't really need the time. But if we need to calculate the force, power, which is our next unit, we really need the time to calculate the power. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped you.